Oh, friends, we have an incredible interview here with Talk About Topeka from NBC's The Voice, our very own hometown hero, Miss Kyla Jade Yay. is with us. How are you doing, Kyla? I feel fantastic. How are you? You know, it is so great to have you back home. We were, a, we're glued to the TVs, <laughs> glued to the apps, making sure we put our votes in for you to make sure that you were, you were getting there where you got to go. And we're, we couldn't be any more proud Thank of, of just this was so great. So. I am so happy to be home. Topeka has pretty much, if I were to ever have a fan city it would be Topeka and just to be embraced by friends and family makes really it all worth it. Mm -hmm. And you went to Shawnee Heights High School. I did. So did I and that was like. Well that's why I already like you. I know that's so we grew we, we didn't even know each other like way back in the day but we knew? knew now we would like each other. That's right so. it was inevitable. So you I read an article that you uh, had talked to a theater teacher, Margaret Ogle. Mm -hmm. you remember, remember Mrs. I do. Ogle? I do. I do too, because mm -hmm. I, I followed her from seventh to all the way up. And Did you? Yeah, the same theater teacher getting us into this stuff. So well, it was cool actually it. it was actually Mr. McPhail. It was my I, music I teacher. Was with him too. It was my music yep. teacher. I did debate and forensics, so I did some things with Miss Ogle, but Mr. McPhail. Um, was really the beacon for me in high school. Mm -hmm. Did you get into like the show choir and all I that was, stuff? I was in every choir you could be in. I think I actually integrated the choirleers uh -huh. as well as Lady Street. I was the first African American to be in either of those. Now, what was it? What was that like? You know, to oh, I didn't have any issues. Shawnee Heights was so inclusive. So the sky was the limit. I could do anything I want. I could be anybody who I could play in. I played in every orchestra. I was in the chess club. I was in. I could do anything I wanted and that was why Shiny Heights was so amazing is I never felt like oh I couldn't do it because I was a black girl mm -hmm. it was all like oh she's just doing it mm -hmm. and I, I appreciated that so you, you graduate from high school and you go on to build this career in music how mm -hmm. did that begin well I've always sung and I've always done some things uh, in church you know I'm a church baby mm -hmm. so I grew up singing in church in surrounding cities and when I got ready to go to college, I had a lot of choices, but Nashville being, I call it a gumbo pot, because pretty much you throw a rock, you're gonna hit a singer, a writer, mm -hmm. a musician, somebody near mm -hmm. is going to be doing something. And I knew that the diversity of what I was looking for was in that city. So going to college at Fisk and really being able to submerge myself in the music in church as well gave me the opportunity. I played in a pulp band, I sang country, I sang rock background, R&B. You can do anything. It's the same kind of mantra. My mother really taught us, you know, have faith in God and try, you know, why not? Why can't you play baseball and then decide you don't like it, you know? Mm -hmm. I played sports too, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But I just, the pulse of the city, the musicality, um, the availability, just being able to blend in into any genre is really what helped me grow. So when you when you start out, of course, everybody's just you're timid and getting into the, the business. And then there was there has to be that one moment where you knew, like, this is the most exciting thing. This is where you knew you no. made it. You did, was there no. not one of those for you? There are, because everything, I enjoy everything. Yeah. So. Literally, I was in Japan for five months teaching gospel music. That was another like, oh my God, this is amazing. Wow. I did a cruise for four months where I had my own show that I headlined. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> every opportunity got it. It's the same thing. Every opportunity I take, I treat it like it could never happen again. It's the most amazing because to me it is. Mm -hmm. I'm a simple girl. Mm -hmm. Honey, I could sing if there was two people in the room. Mm -hmm. So any opportunity I have. So I would say no. I sang with Bobby Jones for 10 years on BET every Sunday morning and every time I was just honored to be there. Mm -hmm. Anytime someone gives me an opportunity, I'm just honored. I, I was recently, I just did a couple dates with Patti LaBelle. And I, I, you know, I don't get to talk to too many people who get to say, you know, I just did a couple dates with Patty. LaBelle. No, listen, like, I'm <laughs> telling you, I was at one point she turned around and she said, Kyle, are you going to sing at all? <laughs> because I realized I was just screaming mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, it, first of all, it's Patty LaBelle. She's like two feet from me. Uh, mm -hmm. Kyla, are you going to sing? And I was like, I promise I am. I promise. <laughs> but I'm just a little black girl. Like I, it was to me, it, any opportunity I get. I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. God, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful 
What am I supposed to learn from this situation? What am I supposed to do? So I don't think there will ever stop being moments. Mm -hmm. The next thing, I'm gonna be just as excited about the next thing, because it's just who I am. I love music. I love being in it. I love surrounding and wrapping it around me. And yeah, if I could do this for the rest of my life, I'll be a happy girl. So, okay, The Voice. Mm -hmm. How'd this come about? How'd you end up on the show? Like, you know? I got a call. Okay, so let me tell you, my life full circle. Okay. I audition for things and don't get them, and then five years later, I get a call for the same things. I auditioned for cruise ships. They all turned me down. Mm -hmm. And then one random day, they called me. Do you want to go out next week? <laughs> sure. So The Voice, my birthday was May 23rd, right? Last year, on May 23rd, Jennifer had to sing on The Voice, and I was just singing background. So I was on stage, standing center, um, because where I'm positioned, if she's not in front of me, I'm center stage. Mm -hmm. So she just hadn't, wasn't there. So I was just looking, I was like, oh, this is cool. So I'm taking pictures. I'm like, look at the four chairs. Didn't think anything of it. Went about my life, got a call that said, uh, hi, this is so-and-so from casting. We saw your video. Would you like to audition for The Voice? No, thank you. And hung up. So about two months later, they call again. <laughs> Kyla, would you like to audition for us? Mm, I don't like competitions. I don't really think it'll be good for me. But thank you so much for calling. Wow. A couple months later, <laughs> called again. <laughs> so at the third call, I started thinking about it. And I was like, you know what, Kyla? Why not? And that's really every situation. Well, why not? Mm -hmm. Why not try it? It may never work. You may never get past auditions. And so that's why I said, I won't get a past auditions. Well, Kyla, you don't have to audition. We're just going to bring you straight in. So that shut that down. So, yep. I, went, so yep. I went to LA and I was like, well, maybe I won't get past this. Oh, no, you're already past this. So we'll see you in a couple weeks. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I might actually have to do this. Yep. And so it was just one of those things. And even in that, I was uncertain. I was unsure. And thinking back on it now, I think I was just nervous. I was nervous and I did it. I don't compete well. I'm always worried about the person beside me. But the voice doesn't do that. It is very much, even though it's a competition, it doesn't feel like it. It's an entertainment show. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. And so I was okay because it wasn't about, you know, you singing better than me. Mm -hmm. It was about giving your best. So I'm going to do my best, you do your best, and I can encourage you because you're a completely different person than I am. Mm -hmm. And in that I felt comfortable so did you feel more camaraderie among the i the have made lifelong friends with team blake mm -hmm. we have a text chain so there was 24 of us on one team i'm team blake at the very beginning we still have that same chain and we all talk we just when someone was eliminated we all said farewells and sent crazy memes and it got all the way to the end and that night I can't tell you how many of those and other people from other teams text me, encouraged me, called me, tweeted me, Facebooked me. They're just incredible artists and I am honored to have been on this season with a lot of them. Well, the show was called The Voice and you have the voice. It's amazing. Thank it really you. is incredible. So uh, you, we just had a, a spectacular street party oh here gosh, at the Topeka Performing so Arts Center. Fun. And you were sitting right front and center yeah, for man. everybody. All this entertainment came together. And uh, what'd you think? I loved it. It's a great day. Listen, I couldn't wait. To, now, now listen, Topeka is hot. It, it's, it, I, it, I don't it miss warm. my God. It was hot. <laughs> <laughs> but how dare I not be there? Mm -hmm. And everyone else is sitting out front. Listen, scoot over. Even, did you see my chair break? My chair even broke. And I literally almost fell out of it. Oh, but no. it, it did not deter me from sitting out front. I had a great time from the barbershop to the babies dancing to the gospel choir to, it was so, I love this kind of stuff. It was so much fun. You rode in on a fire truck. First of all, they played Girl on Fire and I had to make sure that that was not actually true. <laughs> <laughs> and then once I realized it wasn't, I was did okay. you have to stop at another call and put out a fire before you came over? No, no. That's but when they, I did jump when they turned on the sirens. I was like, oh, God, it's really loud in here. But there was a fire. Sorry, there was a fire truck. And I didn't think I could get in it. But um, Captain, I think his name was Captain Scott. Mm -hmm. He was so kind. And he said he'd been working with the fire department for like 15 years. And so I just stopped and thanked him, first of all, for his service. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm so nice. Everything was so great. I'm so honored. I am. You know, so before we before we close out, I want you to you know, in in order for anybody to be able to achieve 
such greatness that you have. It takes an incredible family, right? Absolutely. Talk a little bit about your family. My family is my backbone. They are, my mother especially has been such a beacon of control and faith and stability. And being a full-time musician, you don't know where sometimes your next gig, food, you know, I don't like, I like to maintain. So starving artists is not necessarily what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, but she has always been encouraging and quick to give me a scripture, quick to tell me, nope, you got it. My sisters, I pretty much make them both work at all times and they never complain. They're right there for me. My sister will fix me in a minute. Katie will say, I, I, all right, you need to go take a nap and I'll go take a nap. Mm -hmm. So it's just my aunts who come to, I, I am so blessed to have women and my dad who's not here, but women in my life who hold me accountable, one, keep me humble and really, really love me when it's quiet. And in those moments when it's quiet, you, you need to remember why you do what you do. Mm -hmm. And I just want everyone to have what I have. I really do. I mean, I came home and I would get right in the bed with my mom and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. It would be just fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so it, it, how about for some advice for those kids who sure. are up here mm -hmm. in Topeka who think that they, you know, and they never have a chance or whatever. Like, what do you what do you give them as advice? You know, I love. There's an article that came out and it put me and Gary Woodland, who is probably to me, he's our Tiger Woods. Like, he's an amazing golfer, and we grew up together from grade school through high school. Mm -hmm. And um, who golfs? Like, seriously, dude, you're amazing. So I, I said him because we're two very different things. I want music, and he wants sports. But both of us knew who we were very early and didn't compromise those few things. And so what I would say is, find what you love, cultivate what you love, and then pursue what you love. It doesn't matter if you're scared, it doesn't matter if you don't feel qualified. The thing is you're already prepared to do the things you do. Educate yourself and do it afraid. Be scared, but do it. And that's what's most important, do it afraid. Try it, who's to say you can't try it? I always said, if I don't make it, guess who's going back home to be with my mama? Me, mm -hmm. and will be unbothered mm -hmm. by it. So just try everything. Get, a pl get on a plane and just go. Get your passports. Study, I mean, the Bible says study to show yourself approved, but do it in school. Finish school, figure out what you want, and just do it. The, the sky's the limit. There's so many things out here in the world to do, and all you have to do is decide that you want to do it. Incredible words of advice from uh, NBC's The Voice, Kyla Jade, right here. And of course, I, I'm now one of your biggest fans. I'm one here. of your biggest fans. Uh, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. Mm. Win, win. <laughs> uh, and, and I'm going to be following everything that you do from Thank now you. on out. I, I am so excited that, Thank uh, you. that you've gone on to make us all Topeka proud. Thank you so much. And I have my t shirt too. You got your I didn't get yep. to wear it but I'm gonna wear my Topeka Proud t-shirt. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's Kyla Jade, folks. Uh, thank you so much. Keep, keep an eye you. on this girl, because yeah, the sky's the limit. And watch, talk about Topeka Live. Woo, I don't even have to pay you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> So we do want to say thank you to all the folks who made our big please, block party please. Uh, you know, possible today. You got Larry Goronsky over at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. I say over at like we're not here It's right okay. Now, no one knows. Go ahead and say it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, they right. know. They know. They, know. they oh, saw okay. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we want to thank uh, Larry and all the staff at TPAC, of yes. course. Uh, we want to thank our friends at Core First Bank and Trust. Yes. Because Absolutely. that was very, very cool of them to be able to do that. That was so awesome. Our friends at Azura Credit Union. I got my pack. Oh, they gave me a really cool gift pack. Who knew I like Snickers? I don't know who did, but thank you. <laughs> and we also have Cortez Transportation to make sure you get in every place as comfortably as you can. It's wonderful. So it's just the communities really come together uh, to, to support you. We all love you. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs>